What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we defeated Hop. We just won Pokemon, my I add. Like, we totally dominated him. Like, we destroyed him. We didn't even need a Dagatamax or Dynamax or whatever you call it. And in this episode, we have to look for Leon over at the Rose Tower because, well, you know, he's always late to something or forgetting something. And uh, it is imperative that we find him because we need to actually win the Pokemon League battle and all that stuff. So here's Pierce, and he's going to be like... Hmm... Man, why am I... Uh, why am I here for this? I, I'm totally exhausted from the battle with Draven. We decided that Team Yell will cheer you on, Draven. Let's help out together. Hmm... More Pico's good, and oh... What a beautiful display of sibling love. However, it's entirely unnecessary. Well, hello there. Miss Aliena? Chairman Rose is with the champion in a very, very important meeting. There is no way I will let anyone interfere. Oh, wow. After all, all, uh, all authorized personnel with, with the proper key can ride the monorail in the Rose Tower. That means as long as the Chairman Rose is in the tower, no one can disturb him. Mm, 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 mm. I have hand selected a member of the league staff to give them a key. Chairman Rose does enjoy these kinds of menial games after all. Do you think you can tell the difference between normal league staff and the, uh, the ones I chose? Do you think you can find me? I think I can. Oh wow, okay. What should we do? <laughs> this isn't good, but I got this one. Draven, Team Yell's yelling, we'll handle this. Oh wow, and the Vuvuzelas go on. No, this is brilliant! I'll search around in front of the stadium. Okay, you're gonna have to go that far just to find them? Okay. For now, we should try and head to the plaza together, right? Sure, let's go to the plaza. Let's leave Hop alone. Alright, let's work all let's all work together and head for the Rose Tower. Okay, so we're walking and we're walking. And here it is, guys. We are in uh, the the well, yeah, we're in the plaza. Let's find Oliana's League staff member. The bad one is wearing those lame shades, right? Yes. Okay. And I think I know where he's at. I've played this before. Let's see. It's probably like right here. Somewhere. He's not in there. Okay. Uh, let's see. He's not there. He's wearing some black sunglasses. And uh, he should be around. Oh, there he is. Okay. Anywho, let's go ahead and switch up our Pokemon because this guy will want to battle you. And I guess the Pokemon you should you probably should be using are like fire type Pokemon right here. Dot, dot, dot. Hey Draven, this bloke's awfully shifty, but I can't get him to turn around. Say something surprising so that he'll have no choice but to look this way. Miss Oleana's here. Oh, uh, what? Oh, what? Blast, they turned around. And I can't escape. In that case, time for a Pokemon battle. So here it is. We're going to be uh, battling this bloke right here. And Marco Cosmos Eric. He's like, no, no, no. And he is coming out with his Meowth right here. And I completely forgot the Meowth in this version here, Steel Tap Pokemon. So, yeah. You got to you gotta love that. So let's go straight for the Pyro Ball right here. There we go. We're going to be bending it like Beckham. Bam. Bend it like Beckham. And Meowth has been defeated. Yeah, it's truly not happening right now. And, well, we're gaining some points, and here comes a Durant. But, we're gonna stay put right here with the Pokemon we got, and we're gonna go... My cheers are really going for you! Whoa, how did that happen? Okay, thanks. And because of that, we are... Uh, our speed has rose dramatically right there, so let's go straight for a Pyro Ball. And, yeah, Durant has just, like, avoided that thing. Okay, so... Knowing this Pokemon, I'm probably sure it's gonna like, you know, it, it does have that sturdy technique. But it is a bug type Pokemon, so let's just sacrifice one one turn for that. Get that crunch attack. Captain Crunch, and yes, our defense has fallen, but guess what? We're gonna go straight for a Pyroball for quadruple damage. And why are you avoiding my my move? Mm, let's go right there. Let's go, miss. There you go, and bam, destroyed, Durant defeated, 
And, well, there we go. Kiss is growing to level 57, and that is one for the pages right there. He's like, <laughs> he's a little angry right now. So now we have to find him again. All I need to do is hide, and I won't have to give you the key. Okay, so that's one. It's a wonder how fast the guy could run. I've got no idea where he went, Gov. I have an idea. I mean, I played this game before, so... Let's see, where the heck is he? Probably look around here. There he... Oh, no, that's not him. He is right over there. Talking to those people. Pretending he's listening and all that stuff. Okay. So, before we do anything, let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon. Because that's always nice. And bam, Bex has grown back. And let's go right ahead and talk to this guy. He's just surprised. And he's like, how'd you find me? Or did you just talk to everyone you met? But whatever, I'll defeat you this time. Okay, alrighty, so here we go, taking on Macro Eric again. And, you know, we're gonna be facing this guy's quite this guy quite a few times, so just be aware that he does have steel type Pokemon. Uh, Mawile is both steel and fairy type. I don't know how I don't know why it's a fairy type, but you know what I mean. Let's go. And there it is. For the win, say goodbye to Mawile. Mawile has been defeated. And, well, let's see. Excadrill is coming out. Let's continue on right here. Oh, crap, Baskets. I just realized something. And, well, it is still a Steel-type Pokemon. And, yes, we're getting cheered on by one of our girlfriends. And, bam, we're increasing our special defense and defense. So, let's go straight for a super double kick. Oh, it's super because it's super. And there we go, that's one. And there's the other one. Say goodbye to Excadrill. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty. And, well, that defeats Macro S, uh, the Eric, Macro Cosmos Eric, and well, what's next? They say hide a tree in a forest, so I thought I'd hide myself in the crowd. And he's running away yet again. So, let's see, we gotta do something about, Hold on. You know what? Let's let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon right here because, you know, we kind of used up one of our moves. We already know where he's at. We're just going to be healing up our Pokemon. Don't worry, guys. Hey, right, heal my Pokemon, please. Anywho. Taking bud, taking names, doing things, and... Bam. Okay, alrighty. Alrighty, alrighty. Okay, so let's just get back out of there and, uh... Let's go ahead and find this guy now. He's probably going into the most obvious of places to go find him, and he's going to be in here. And look at that. <laughs> he's not happy. You're way too observant, but I'll win this time and make my getaway. Okay, so here it is, guys. Battle number three against Eric. And he's coming out with a Pharaoh Seed, so it's a good thing that I actually healed my Pokemon because, well, yeah, that's a... Uh, yeah, we, 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 we definitely need we definitely need this Pyro Ball now since it's uh, both Grass and Steel type. So here we go. Grass, Steel type, meet the Pyro Ball. Pyro Ball, meet that. There we go. Pharaoh Seed defeated. And I don't think we're going to get hurt by that since it's not a physical attack, right? Yeah. And he's going to be coming out with a Steelix, so let's just continue on right here. Powering our, our Bex right here, so... Oh, look at that. Girlfriend is cheering on for us, and yes. What is being uh, risen? Oh, look at it! Our attacks are being risen. Okay, so this is like an unfair advantage. Let's go! Pyro Ball. No way this Pokemon can avoid this. Eat it! And there you go. Steelix has been defeated. How about that now? Alrighty, okay! Macrocosmos Eric has been defeated. Please give us the key. Please. Seems like you got me cornered, but I'm not going to give up. An earful from Miss Oleana is way worse than anything you can do. Good luck catching me on the monorail. Are you serious? Oh, crap, baskets. Okay. Team Meow, go, go find Hop. He'll, uh, we'll corner the league staff member at the, uh, the station already. Okay, so we got to go there, and, well, we got to go to the monorail, and let's see what we can actually find right there. And there he is, and oh my god, come on. He's on the far corner. Okay. 
So we're walking in, and everybody's just like looking. They're like, "Are you serious?" And Hop being frustrated as always. <laughs> you did a cracking job of cornering the bad league staff member, Draven. Let me sing us. Uh, let's sing you a song fitting for your rocking deeds. The humble or the only thing a humble singer can do this is sing a song, a humble song. And everybody's just like wondering, what the heck? What's going on? Maybe I can't cheer someone on just with the tunes I play. Maybe this, my, maybe my songs don't make anyone happy. Maybe I can't help. But still, the only thing I can do is sing. Sing my humble song. And the Vuvuzillas are coming on. Go, Pierce! Everybody's like, hey, isn't that Pierce? Why is he doing a street performance? I think you mean a station performance. Come on. Let's see if he can get closer. Everybody's just wondering, and they're just like paying attention, turning on their phones, and they're wondering, like, what the heck is going on right here? For me, I'm just, you know. And, oh, wow. The Zigzag Goon loved the songs. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. And, yes. We got the key, Pierce. We can take the Monroe to, Ro to Rose Tower now. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Everybody's just loving this. Driven Hop! Now it's your chance. Go! Get out of here! Okay, alrighty. Well, that was, uh... That was something, and well, look at that. We are in the Rose Tower. And, uh, well, let's see. Yeah, we, we, we're definitely gonna go into the Rose Tower. So this is a Rose Tower! Just how tall do you think it is? I can't even see the top, uh, the top up there in the clouds. Uh, there's no clouds up there, okay? I'm, I'm, I hope you already know that. So, what should we do? Team Yellow is gonna give their hand, uh, get their hands full, holding up these bad league staff members. They won't be catching up to us anytime soon. Yeah, Draven. What do you think we should do? Let's go ahead. Come on, seriously. Let's just go ahead. Good thinking. Let's go collect Lee and get out of here. Without him, there's no champion for you to challenge in the Champion Cup. Draven, you cleared the way to the Rose Tower. Now all you gotta do is charge on ahead. An employee is a, an employee is an employee, I guess. Seems the exact lady hid the monorail key to try and impress the chairman. Chairman Rose has been keeping the champion holding up inside. Wonder what he's plotting. Hmm. And well, there's the brother. Times like this, then when tension and passion run up high, remind me of Spike Month in the old days. Some right wild uh, concerts we had back then, but no encores. Wait, you're still here? You better get going. I'll send some support your your way and yell. Okay. You gotta stick around and make sure my bro doesn't do anything crazy, right? Come back if you need anything. Okay. Let's go, Draven. Well, it looks like we're gonna be, uh... Facing something pretty big in this episode. Okay. So, let's see. Before we do anything... Yeah, okay. So, let's go right ahead and start switching up our Pokemon. Um, I kind of want to see an evolution in this episode. So, uh, you know what? Let's get, continue on right here with the same team. Let's go straight into the Rose Tower. And uh, see what is going on. Because, golly cruddy. Golly, golly. Alrighty. So let's see. Whoa, it's huge in here. What in the world? Is, what in the world is this place meant to be? Hmm. Listen, Draven. Don't know if you know if you knew this already, but I've heard Rose Tower was built on a power spot. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. When we get up into the roof and have a bit of space, we can Dynamax our Pokemon. You know what I'm saying? Which is well, well and good, but less certain is uh, whether this lift can get us to the top. Rose Tower has like a hundred floors, right? You'll be leaving right now, so there's no need to worry about the lift. Intruder alert! Intruder alert! All staff are ordered to help remove the intruders from the premises at once. See, if Miss Oliella says so, then it looks like this is the end of the line for you kids. I get rid of intruders, and I'll probably get the big bonus. Okay, so here it is. We're going to be taking on Elijah. And he's coming out with uh, his Durant. So, yes, we're going to be facing a lot of Steel-type Pokemon right here, guys. 
And well, I hit myself right in my microphone. Let's go with the Pyroball for the win. And are you serious? Good gravy. Yeah, this is getting annoying. Very, very annoying. So let's go right ahead and do this again. Pyro Ball. And here comes Metal Sound. And that right there will lower a special defense. So we have to really hit this. Are you serious? Come on, man. This is getting annoying. So there's an Iron Head attack right there. And, well, it's a critical hit. Hurt us pretty good. So here we go, Pyro Ball. Jesus, okay. Never thought evasion with this Pokemon would be so so annoying. And then there we go. Mm-hmm. Defeated you. And well, let's see. Defeated Elijah, and he's like, he, he's just annoyed. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna be facing a lot of trainers right here. Not going to read through their little commentary sections right here. Yes, we need to get to the all right, nearby chairman Rose. Okay, hold on. We're coming, okay. Uh, let's get a crack at it. Yeah, not going to follow your lead. Okay, so let's first uh, heal up. Yeah, we need to heal up something right here. Uh, let's go with an ether. Give that to this and give the Pyro Ball. Hopefully this will be the last time we use any, anything like that. So let's go right ahead and go straight up and... Whoa, that looks like uh, Rose. And it turns out that this whole room is an elevator. Which is pretty darn cool. Holy bejeebus, okay. This is taking ages. Well, if you stay patient, then you should... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, with Hop, I really don't know. What? I don't think we're at the roof yet. Why does it stop? And it's because of these people right here. You two are gym challengers, aren't you? Thank you for taking part in Gallard League's gym challenge. Yet, I'm afraid this doesn't give you the right to interfere in our work. We will drive you out to protect uh, the many subsidiary companies housed here in the Rose Towers. Behold the glori gloriously high-tech elevators of Rose Tower able to withstand Pokemon battles. They are constructed by a subsidiary Macrocosmos Construction. Okay, so Macrocosmos. And this is a double battle. So, uh, yeah, I guess it's time to show off again. Here we got... Two of the uh, craziest looking Pokemon right here. Copper Raja? No, it's not Copper Raja. No, Copper Raja is the full evolution, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, so Kufant and B Bronzong. So let's go right ahead and use that. And, well, Power Ball. Time to finish this guy off. Bending it like Beckham. And there you go, Bronzong defeated. Okay, alrighty. And we are at level 63. And well, let's see. Body slam from double. That won't do much since q is a steel type Pokemon. Here comes a dig attack. And that looks like it's going to hit me. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go straight to Togepri. It has been a while. And well, there we go. Togepri. Just avoiding a dig attack right here. And the body slam misses. Here comes a dig, and it doesn't affect Togepri, so let's go with a Dazzling Gleam. I could have used a Metronome, but, you know. So here's the Dazzling Gleam, and that takes care of Tufant. Must I do everything? Yes, I do. And, well, you defeated... Yes, we have defeated these guys, and <laughs> they are not happy with that result right there, so... Well, I've been defeated. I've had little choice but respectfully to retreat. Yet, I must ask you once more to please do not interfere with Chairman Rose's work. The elevators in the Rose Tower are constructed so that the only floor ascends, but that presents some danger. Thus, the presence of these walls constructed in, of light. You can thank Macrocosmos Construction for providing this wonderful technology as well. Hmm. Okay. Wait, so the folks working in the tower can stop the elevator from uh, the outside at any time? We're just trying to get to the top already! Our teams have been working uh, themselves ragged for us. Let me heal them. Okay. You want to heal me? Cool. We're going to be going up. Up in a way. And, well, look at this. It's quite a few floors. I, I tried counting them, but... I think this is like the second to last, and... Yeah. Okay. Rose area is almost a thousand feet tall. You are now in, uh, about 500 feet above. Or above the ground. I'm MC Insurance. I'm from the MC Insurance. Do you have a life insurance policy? 
No, not really. Kind of sounds like a competition right here. So, let's go ahead and take on Kevin and Carla. And they're both coming out with a Mawile. And, wow, why is it always another Pokemon I don't remember the name of? Holy crud. Grinder? I think that's what the name of the Pokemon is. Okay. Let's see. Intimidate is going to get us. And, well, it's going to get us both right there. So, let's see. Let's go straight for Fireball. And we're going to go straight for Mawile right there. Since so it's probably the weakest out of the both. And here we go. Bending it like Beckham. And that defeats Mawile. I bet you anything I know what uh, what Hop's going to be doing. He's probably going to be doing a, a body slam. You know. Told you. I told you. So there you go. Body slam. Not so effective against Clang. And here comes a lock on. And that right there... Ooh, it's making sure that it doesn't miss its next attack. So let's go with the Pyro Ball straight to Clang. And let's go. And there it is. And that's how you do it. Clang has been defeated. Okay. And, well, let's see. We have defeated both Carla and Kevin. Well, I did. You know, Hop is really just there for, like, you know, just to see greatness. Yes, I know I'm acting cocky, but seriously, Pokemon has invented one of the most annoying uh, partners or rivals or whatever he is in all of history. And I thought that Barry was annoying. This guy is way more annoying. Yeah, hear me talk crap about you. Okay, so we're going for number three right here. Go to your right side. You're nearly at the top, but you won't be meeting chairman, the chairman. I've got no fear of heights. I work in high, uh, in the high skies, doing my job for the lofty macro uh, cosmos air. Okay, let's go right ahead and see what these guys are all about. Here, you're coming out with uh, Adlin and uh, and Jordan, and here's Steelix and another Pokemon that I just don't remember the name of. Oh yeah, Stunkfish. Okay, let's go. Very easy, very peasy. Okay. Let's go with a super, uh, a super effective uh, Pyro Ball right here. And Steelix has avoided that. And must you hit the Pokemon I want to hit? Yeah, okay, here's that Muddy Water. Go ahead, double. Eat it. Wait. I thought, oh crap, Paskets, I thought I avoided it. So the accuracy has fallen, and well, here comes a little bit of a Rock Slide. That right there is going to be messing with us just a tad, so... Let's see, let's go ahead and use Powerball and see if Steelix actually takes this one. And there we go. Pyro Ball for the win. Steelix has been defeated. Okay, alrighty. Yeah, okay, and uh, let's see. Double, go for the Body Slam because, well, that's what your master orders you to do. And yeah, he's not really that good. He really isn't that good. And well, here comes a Muddy Water. Isn't there a band called Muddy Waters? I don't know. Okay, so here we go, Pyro Ball. Let's go to Stunkfish. Time to eat this Pyro Ball. We're gonna bend it like Beckham before he met uh, Victoria, or yeah, before he met Posh Spice and stuff. And yeah, there we go. And bam, level 59. And yes, we have defeated the Macro Cosmos people. They are not happy. And, well, we got to go all the way back up, so here we go. That was the last challenge right there, so now it is finally time to get to the very top. Looks as though we're nearly there, mate. Looks sharp. Let's do this. Okay. Alrighty. So here we are going straight to the top, and, well, look at that. Okay. I'm going to walk around a little. Oh, crap. Welcome to Chairman Rose exclusive pace or space. Here nearly a thousand feet above the earth. So you got through all the special staff that I had ordered to stop you. I would expect nothing less of the trainers handpicked by the champion Leon himself. But I'm afraid it is time it is now time for you to go home. Because Oh wow. Mm. Scary spice it is. I will not allow anyone to disturb the great chairman Rose. You shall be first, Draven. 
If I beat you to pieces, then the champion will have no one to battle and thus lose heart. In that state, he will listen to anything the chairman says. She looks pretty hot when she's mean. Mm, 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 mm. All right, so we're taking on Macro Cosmos Oliana. And she is coming out with a frost last right here. Man, she she is mean and scary and oh my god. Oh, and uh, this is a Gigantamax, Gigantamax, wow, I can't even speak, Gigantamax battle. So let's go with the Pyro Ball right here. Alrighty, banning it like Beckham, because that's exactly what we've been doing this whole entire time. Bam, say goodbye to Frostlass. Didn't see that one coming. She's like, hmm, how cheeky to turn to the thing. Yeah, 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 whatever. Okay, so here we go. Let's see, what, what else is my Lotic? Okay, my Lotic is a pretty scary Pokemon when you when you take a look at it, because, well, yeah, if you guys uh, notice, uh, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond is going to be a tough one when we take on Cynthia herself. And, well, look at this. Milotic, a scary Pokemon. And, well, let's go straight for the Overdrive. Right here. Overdrive. Same move. And there goes Milotic. Okay. And, well, let's see. She's going to be coming out with a Salazzle. Sounds like a Fire-type Pokemon. So let's go straight to Michelangelo. Salazzle. That's a pretty good new name right there. And, well, there we go. Michelangelo, how's it going? How you doing? Salazzle. And Salazzle. Oh, okay. So I remember this Pokemon now. Let's go with the liquidation. And the poison gas may basically the fart attack. And bam. Poisoned. So here comes the liquidation. And just like that, Salazzle has been defeated. Okay, alrighty, look at that. And more Pokemon are growing levels. Okay. Michelangelo, looking pretty cool. And Serena. Okay, so she's going to be coming out with her Serena. Let's see, do I have a Pokemon that can actually mess with this? Serena. You know, I do. Yeah. yeah okay, you know what? Let's go with Togepi. Togepi. Probably because, you know, the flying type capabilities, all that crud. Yeah, you didn't see this Pokemon coming out, and she's coming out with Sarina. This Pokemon's looking uh, very, very nice. So let's go straight for an Air Slash attack right here. And this one hits it as hard as it can. Say goodbye to Serena. Oh, yes, this Pokemon, powerful as can be. Look at that. Dreamzilla grows level 59. Togepi and Kiss also grow levels. And Garbodor. Hmm. I wonder what kind of Pokemon that is, Garbodor. Oh, I know what Pokemon it is. Oh, do I have a Pokemon that can actually defeat it? Uh, yes, I do. Alrighty, let's go with Dreepzilla right here. Dreepzilla. Let's go. Okay. This is my last Pokemon. Seriously, Oliana has got to finish this. And here she is coming out with Garbor Door. Garbor, Gar Garbor Door. Yeah, I cannot pronounce that. Okay, so you know what? Let's do it. Dynamax. You can only do it like you only do it one time right here. So, and plus we haven't even yeah we haven't even got uh, Dreamzilla to do Dynamax just yet. So there we go. Let's make it grow, grow and grow. Look at this. This Pokemon is looking pretty big and mean. Bam. Okay, what's up? How's it going? Oh yes, I think I'll treat you to something truly spectacular, you Gigantamax Pokemon. Oh damn, oh damn, she is mean as can be. Especially with that big ass six, fair, six forehead, or six head I should say. Okay, look at that, look at that. Okay, so it, it's a Gigantamax Pokemon, and you know, here comes the Max Mind Storm. That one gives it a pretty good hit. And this one will change the field just a little bit. What exactly is going to happen? The battlefield got weird. And here comes a weak armor from Garbodor. Its defense will go down, but its speed will go up real... Oh, wow. It's going to go sharply. So here comes a Max Quake. I thought that not... Oh, wow. I seriously thought that wouldn't affect us. I guess I was wrong. 
and its special defense has grown up, but guess what? Guess what? Yes, Leftovers is giving us a little bit of a boost, so let's go straight for a Max Mindstorm and, oh crap, Baskets. Oh. Oh, wow, that, that right there, that right there is very effective. And it changes the field just a tad bit, but here comes the Max Mindstorm. And there goes Garbodor. Yes, like a volcano, it just explodes. And just like that, we have won our battle. Oh, yes. Bam! So, Oleana has been defeated, and she doesn't even... <laughs> she's slouching, she's like, huh, I wasn't able to win! You really are a hopeless woman. Hmm, kind of. But you are pretty hot when you're mean. <laughs> this is an excusable. What was I thinking? Any gym challenger who's made it this far would be no pushover. Under normal circumstances, I would have tried to delay you further. However, all the necessary wishing stars have been collected. Do you do as you wish. There is nothing to be done now. Hmm. Typical Draven, you and Cinderace are unstoppable. Hmm. Okay. Everything I did, I did to further the Chairman's own goals. Okay, so what's going on here? Leon, we've discussed the hundreds, uh, this hundreds of times already, and you still fail to understand what's at stake. You, who is supposed to be our champion, I think I understand well enough. What I don't understand is why we ought to cancel tomorrow's tournament in order to solve a problem that's a thousand years away from affecting us, any of us, any of us. What's the difference? Is, what difference is one day going to make? My duty as champion isn't this madness. It's going to carry out a championship match. That's what Galar wants and what I want. It's what we've all been looking forward to for so long. No, you don't understand. You don't understand. You still don't understand a thing. Look around us, Leon. Look at, Gal look at the Galar region stretched out before us. And know that the energy required to keep this brilliant and glittering world alive will be exhausted a millennium from now. The people of Galar today will no longer even exist. What Galar wants today hardly matters. The future is more important than just one day. We must act quickly, as quickly as, uh, as we possibly can. We must take action in order to avert tragedy. So that, so that, all, that all can look forward to a better future. In a thousand years? Fine, look. I think I understand your concerns, Chairman. And I give my word I'll help you with your plans. Just as, uh, just as soon as tomorrow's match is over. Hmm. Something's going on here. Lee. You never should when we were supposed to go, or s supposed to, so I got worried that something had happened. Piers and Marnie... And all them Team Yellow Oddballs, they helped us out to get a, to get out here. I must apologize to you, Hop, if we've made you worry at all. There are times when adults just can't seem to have an honest discussion with one another. Sometimes our pride just gets in the way. Never mind any of this, Hop and Draven. Let's head back to the hotel and grab dinner uh, together, yeah? It's on me, so order whatever you fancy. And I'm just looking, I'm like, something's going on here, homeboy. If you'll excuse this, Chairman Rose. And I do hope you'll watch tomorrow's match. It's sure to be one for the history bucks. Hmm. Okay. Something's going on. Something is going on. One for the history bucks. You still don't understand, young champion. We, no. I'm going to change the course of history. Okay, so that is very ominous. That is very ominous. Okay, okay. Um, the next evening. Hmm. Hmm. This is it. Did you get enough sleep? You and your team are the ones battling, but I've had a butterfree in my stomach since I woke up. Hmm. Challenger Draven. The finals will be starting shortly. 
I'm here to escort you to the stadium. What's all this? Didn't you learn your lesson yesterday? If you need another helping of Hop and his trusty Rillaboom, I'll be happy to give you one. No, wait, please. I'm not like other those uh, not not like uh, those other league staff. I'm the good one, if I may uh, say so myself. I heard about you. What I heard about what happened yesterday. Miss Oliana can only uh, be can be a little extreme in her desire to assist the chairman with his goals. I'm afraid. It seems that she's cultivating her own group of league staff in secret to be deployed for, well, things like that debacle last night. But you've no need to worry about today's staff. All of us are here for the right reasons. Well, that's what she says. I guess we could trust her, yeah, Draven? Let's go, I can't wait another minute. Okay, alrighty. Would you like me to show you your way to Winden Stadium? Not yet. Not yet. Understood. Come talk to me if you need any help, or use one of the flying taxis out in front. Okay, so... Things are about to get a little crazy, guys, and well, I can only say that, hey, we got quite a few things coming in the next few episodes, and it's gonna get very, very, and I mean very exciting. So, thank you guys again for being patient, staying patient, and all that crud, and uh, well, stay tuned. In the next episode, we're gonna be going into a championship battle, or I don't know what may happen, but... I will see you guys in the next episode. Make sure to make a little donation right there if you want to. And uh, yeah, next episode is going to get a little crazy right here. So I'll see you guys next time.